guys welcome back to ricola's crochet corner i am crystal i am here with i got a package from lens mills i do have prices so i can tell you what the prices are and first thing i'm gonna say is this is all debbie's fault <laughs> Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. This is all her fault. I mean, she didn't really have to twist my arm that much, but you know what? I want to put. I'm gonna put it on Debbie. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'll show you is the yarn that I got. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love uh, Lion Brand Jeans yarn. We used to have it at Michaels. We don't have it at Michaels anymore, and. This was actually a relative, relatively good price for this because it's only $5.99 a ball. And that is actually fairly cheap considering it used to be, I think it was $7.99 at Michael's before. And we never had this color. This is corduroy. It's the deep red kind of one. I don't want to get out of the plastic because I want to wait till I get it upstairs. But anyway. So I got that and then I ordered a kit. I ordered two kits. One kit is, it doesn't say on the box what kit is what. That's so silly. Oh wait, yes it does. I lied. So the, the kits come in a heavy box like this and I got the DIY set the Baghetti Milano bag and it's got three of the bobbins that you need to make the purse uh, one set of bag handles and one crochet ho hook and one instruction inside so this is the picture of the purse that it makes so I love the handles I thought that was really cool I'm not sure that I'm gonna make that maybe that pattern, but I definitely want to make a bag and use those handles. So I got that kit. And then because I love anything amigurumi, I was like, oh, this is cute. So it's using the same, um, so there's two bobbins, ribbon XL, and then there's leftover black and pink and this um it also has a crochet hook and instructions to make this cloud okay so the cloud one was 23.99 for the kit and the bag the handbag one with the handles and everything was 25.99 and then as i said i paid 5.99 per ball for the lion brand um the Lion Brand Jeans yarn. Okay, so the hook they give you is a bamboo hook, 10 millimeter hook. So that's not bad. They gave a little bit of the pink to make the cheeks and a little bit to make the mouth in the, I think it's the mouth, or the eyes, sorry. The eyes are gonna be done in this black. And then yes, it does have the instructions in there. So. That's pretty cool. I can't say that's not a good kit. I think it's a pretty good kit. So we shall see if I like these kits. Once I get going, I'm not sure that the yarn is that nice, but it is not bad for what I got. Um, I didn't know what else to order. I mean, I found that some of the yarns on Lens Mills was very expensive for what it was. Um, like I said, the jeans yarn, I don't care if it seems like it was expensive because I do love that yarn. It is very soft. It is one of my favorites. I have some of the the dark blue one and the light blue one upstairs. But I don't have any of this color. So just so I can show you guys a little bit closer how pretty the actual color is. It is very, very nice. And this one is the corduroy one. It's very soft. I love this one. This is my favorite. It's 246 yards and it is a four worsted weight yarn. In case you don't know, it's 100% acrylic. I have been trying not to buy any acrylic because I have a lot of acrylic, but I love the jeans yarn. It is one of my favorites of all time and 
I will always buy it if I get a chance. It's so squishy. I do love this yarn. I'm hoping I can make something with it in the near future because um, it is my favorite yarn and I want to make something that I'm going to keep and use. So it won't be a shawl. Maybe it'll be some sort of like wrap or something that I can use. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but that just showed up. So I thought I would show you guys what I got and hopefully you guys are all having a good day. It is ridiculously cool here in Canada today in Ontario. I should say in Ontario. Uh, last week we were in like the, what, plus thirties. Humidity was like crazy. One day the humidity was like 35 and then now it's plus four out there. So crazy. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will hopefully be back soon. I've been working on a few projects. Actually, you know what? While well, I have you here, so I don't have to make another video just to show this. I'm doing, I believe it's Tunisian Entrelock is the name of the stitch. So what I'm doing is I am making squares like that. So I'm making squares like that. And then I'm going to go around with um, another color to kind of try to straighten up those edges a little bit and hide those ends. And I am going to make a bunch of those, probably nine, maybe 12. I haven't decided yet. I've already got this one and I have two more started. Um, I'm making a blanket out of it. So I know that a lot of people, when I posted it on my Facebook group, they were saying how they love the look of it, but it is a very time consuming um, stitch and it is. Uh, they were saying that they hope I don't get bored. Uh, one lady said it took her a year to make a blanket. So I feel like if I do it like this, it's not going to take as long because it's going to be broken down into smaller, you know, sections. So it won't be as bad. So that's my plan anyway. Hopefully it works out. Who knows? <laughs> so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Um, maybe I can do a review on one of those kits if I get around to using it <laughs> anytime soon. And if not, I will hopefully bring something to you guys to show you guys some of the work I've been doing within a couple of days. All right, take care and have a wonderful weekend and we'll talk soon.